Alright guys, this is uh, Jay from JNC Family. Uh, I'm posting uh, some stuff about tent, I mean, uh, van life, but the way that we're doing this is because I'm on disability or whatnot, and I really can't afford a van at the moment. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with tent life. Alright, um, I've been homeless, I've lived in a car, I've lived in a tent up in Tennessee while it was snowing. I know a lot about uh, uh, the survival stuff out there. Um, I'm still working on snares and traps and whatnot, homemade, you know, stuff like that. But anyway, uh, for the basic survival gear, um, get your tent, mattress, sleeping bags, whatever you want to sleep in, to keep warm. Um, because out there in the woods, you're not going to, you know, basically have uh, a lot of electrical uh, powers. So, but with that being said, where me and C from JNC Family is going, and if you want to know who we are, my name is Justin, her name is Courtney, and uh, Courtney right now is actually videoing this uh, this video, so, but anyway, um, where we're going is a campground, and we found out that this campground is not too far from where we're at, and I've, I've been there before, I've caught, you know, we've, we've caught fish out there, and people have caught shark, uh, alligator garfish, nice sized bass, both largemouth and striped, uh, red bull or bull red, whatever you want to call it. It's a, it's a pretty nice area. It's right off of the, um, uh, the coast of the Gulf, uh, of the Gulf of Mississippi, uh, Gulf of Mississippi, the, the Gulf of Mexico, sorry. Um, and, uh, we're down here in Louisiana. We're going to be going to Franklin in the next few weeks to a, uh, campground called, uh, Burns Point. It's uh, like a state, little state area that's owned. Uh, but anyway, it's got boat launches. I think there's a little beach there. So if anybody wants to go and check that out, y'all look it up on the map. Y'all come down to visit. Uh, tent spaces are $10 a night um, with no limit. So just so you know, I've, I've already called about all this stuff. Um, so I'm going to get into the basic gear of what we got. Um, I, I spent $258 at Walmart. For everything that I have, except for a few pieces, and some of the pieces I won't show you, um, because I would have to take it down and everything, but I will post links to them in the description. Alright, so, uh, first things first is your tent, okay? I bought this 10-man tent. It's got a screen porch. You can fit, uh, three queen-size mattresses in it. Um, it's a pretty... Pretty big size tent. I only paid $98 for this at Walmart. $98. It is not a bad tent at all, guys. It's pretty roomy, pretty big. Um, but yeah, this is the tent that we're going with. Okay. Now, as far as a mattress is concerned, I found this also at Walmart. It's a queen size double, and uh we paid what thirty five dollars for it? I think it was. It was no thirty nine dollars. It was, it was, it was close about to 40. you could say forty dollars. Uh, so we played. We paid forty dollars um, for this. It did not come with a pump, so uh, we had to buy ourselves a pump. Which electric pumps work real, real nice. But whenever you're on a diet like me and you need to work out, that's the best one for it, man. Up and down with it. But uh, we paid. Ten dollars for this? It was like ten dollars. It, it was, was like, like eight it, something. It was like it was around about ten dollars for this. Uh, it's a bike. It's basically like a bike pump. Uh, but it, it, this one, I have used one like this before. It is real handy. It's a pain, but it is real handy because it. But it does. It does take a little bit of time to uh, to pump up an air mattress, especially one this size. Um, I bought a fifty foot extension cord, sixteen gauge. Um, indoor, outdoor, basically, um, for fifteen dollars. Yeah, I think it was like that. Yeah, it was like a couple dollars more than a twenty-five foot. Yeah. So I bought this for like fifteen bucks at Walmart. Um, I bought uh, this surge protector that was I think like six bucks, something like that. It really wasn't that expensive. Um, so this is basically what we bought, you know, tent wise. Uh, this thing here was actually given to me. It was donated. Um, it's a uh, two-burner stovetop, hot plate, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I just recently used it yesterday to see how well it works. It takes a little while to heat up, but once it heats up, 
it's a real good addition to your camping life, I promise. Um, I've cooked eggs in a, in a skillet, and it's like the heat, even though the heat is high, it's not high enough to burn your eggs. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's real smooth. I don't know, it's like the perfect temperature on high heat. So this was given to me, that was a gift. Um, I had a couple things else that was gifts. Uh, my buddy of mine gave me this. If you don't know what this is, this is a water canteen. It's not the plastic. This is actually like a uh, like a leather uh, outside it uh, with a nylon rope and everything on it. This is pretty cool, especially if you're hiking. Um, if you go to hike, make sure you got fresh water in this. This will definitely uh, uh, be there for a little while, as long as you use it, you know, sparingly. Um, this thing here was actually pretty cool. This was also given to me by a buddy of mine. And this right here, you can boil water in it. Um, you can do different things with it. And one of the cool things that it came with is one like this. So, like, if you're ever cooking outside, like, say, if you catch some fish or, um, some type of game or whatnot and you need seasonings, you can always get this at Walmart. Uh, I want to say it's like six bucks, I think. Could be off a couple bucks, but it's like that. But it comes with basically salt, pepper, garlic salt, uh, paprika, curry, cayenne pepper. That's what that comes with. Uh, this thing here actually comes with two, um, two comes with two cups basically. And what you can do with this is, like I said, you can boil water. Uh, you can make tea with it, uh, and then use your cups afterwards and soups. Soups. You can do soups with this. Um, it does have the measurement things here. It's a, like I said, it's a pretty cool little tool. Very, very, very convenient. Um, it's, it's, like I said, guys, I mean, this can get a little pricey, but it's not what you think it is. It's not as bad as what you think. Uh, of course, my buddy, this is well over $20 a piece, but my buddy gave me this knife. Uh, I'm going to be using this for basically, like, making traps and whatnot and um, other things. And also good for self-defense, you know. Because where I'm going, there's a lot of bears. Just so you know. But, uh, and Walmart doesn't sell, like, the little, uh, there's a lot of poisonous snakes, too. But Walmart doesn't sell the little, uh, the little BB pistols no more. You know, if a water moccasin or a rattlesnake or something comes up on me, you know, I'd rather have a gun and just pop it in the head once and be good to go. But they don't have that. So, I'm probably going to end up trying to get something else to use, uh take one of them little buggers out uh for backpacks uh this right here is a uh, Lug uh luxor bag series this bag in particular is expensive and this was also given to me i can't tell you how much it was because i have no idea but it does have a uh charger wire in there so like say if you got a battery one of those rechargeable battery packs you can plug it into this um, into the bag, leave it inside your bag or whatever, and connect your, uh, uh, phone charger to the outside of the bag right here, and you'll be able to plug your phone in or whatever, and you can put your phone here and let it charge. So, this is pretty good, um, backpack. Uh, this is where I'm going to keep a lot of, uh, my gear, like my knives and, uh, extension cords and stuff like that for whenever I'm not using them. But... This is, like I said, this is something that's very, very, very unique. Uh, as far as it comes to, like, coolers or whatnot, we bought a uh, little red and white cooler. Uh, I think it's like 40-something quart uh, for, like, $17 at Walmart. It wasn't bad at all. If you want a table, I highly recommend there's, you can get these, uh, the white plastic tables, heavy-duty plastic. Um, I bought a black one at Walmart. It's four foot long. Um, and I paid $35 for it at Walmart. Uh, I do have it set up in my room at the moment, so I can't pull that out to show you, but I will be putting a link for it in the description. Uh, as far as fishing gear, where I'm going, you can catch anything. Like I said, bass, garfish, whatnot. So, a lot of my poles right now have, um... I can put up to 30 pounds on my poles, 30 pound test. And this right here is a 30 pound test line. I think I paid like seven bucks for it at Walmart. Uh, you always want to make sure this ain't all this ain't all the little bobbers that I got, but I got different ones. 
but um, I got some more up in here. Um, just got to organize it. Uh, make sure you always have knives for fishing. Um, if you're planning on catching anything like sharks or whatnot, um, or anything that has a lot of teeth, this is what you would want to get. You would want to get a metal leader. Uh, Jaws himself can't chew through that, so just so you know. But uh, that's about it, guys. Um, make sure you get your provisions like water, like a case of water or whatnot. And, uh, you know, just just go with the tide. You know, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be big and it's going to be adventurous. And in a few weeks, we will be setting up a uh, shop. We're going to do a video on uh, how the tent looks once it's set up. And then we're going to do the inside because I'm going to have a TV, an Xbox, a computer, uh, the bed and everything all set up. I have it all nice up and neat and we're going to do uh, a little tour for it. So, all right guys, I'll see you on the next video. Later.